A quick checkup on one of my favorite phone features. Being able to use your phone as a PC or a laptop is a huge value add, but the competition on this feature is starting to dry up. One of the best ways to make this more accessible is to include a basic version of a desktop mode in Android, and then you can kind of hope manufacturers work towards customizing it and improving it, but that's not really happening. On Android 12, we can look at a couple different versions of the desktop mode to see if there's been any progress. Spoiler alert, kinda? Now, I often use OnePlus phones in these videos to showcase these changes. We can see the Android stock desktop mode, and I can capture a decent quality stream of that UI thanks to the phones supporting video output. First, the good news. App performance seems somewhat improved. Toggling settings to allow for resizable windows, I'm getting fewer errors, fewer crashes. The apps are running well in this desktop mode, and that's about it for the good news. Now for the not so good news. Launching apps is now almost impossible. Yeah, the new concept for an app drawer is thankfully no longer full screen. There's a little pill and you click on that, it opens a list, but currently the OnePlus massacres that app list. Nothing lines up to where you might be able to tap or launch an app. The only way I can show apps in action is to search for an app and then use the arrow keys to hopefully land on that app. There is no dock and now no multitasking options. You can maximize an app or leave it in a floating window, but you cannot minimize an app. To move something out of the way, you can close the app. And that's it. There are almost no distinct home screen settings, just a basic option to add or remove icons on the main desktop. No additional options for things like a clock or other user interface lifestyle perks. And currently none of the Android methods of multitasking seem to work, like a swipe to enter your recent list. The back button works, but even in three button navigation, you don't get multitasking. And trying to use the alt tab keyboard shortcut just launches your recent list on the phone screen. <laughs> Worst of all, on the OnePlus 9 Pro, it seems that whenever I use the desktop mode, it erases all of the icons on my phone's home screen. So that's proper broken. Like that's a pretty steep penalty if you want to try and use your phone like a PC. So looking at an alternative, my Sony Xperia 1 Mark II also just recently updated to Android 12 and the desktop mode is smoother than the OnePlus. First, it doesn't reset my phone's home screens. So that's a huge perk. Second, the pill button properly organizes my app drawer. It's a lot cleaner looking. And third, in-app performance is even smoother than on the OnePlus. The Sony, however, ignores all options for floating windows. You can't have multiple apps on screen in the desktop mode. It's only one app at a time. We still don't have any multitasking options. So you can't juggle back and forth between apps. You can open an app and you can close an app and you can use the back button and that's it. And it's really a shame because using a phone like this kind of blows the doors off most Android tablets. If we could just get the same basic navigation on desktop mode as we get on phone Android, but properly fitting another monitor's aspect ratio, that would be a significant upgrade. You would be able to do more with your phone that way. Lastly, it's just getting more difficult to test. Pixel phones lack video out through the USB port. Other screamingly powerful phones like the Vivo X70, they just completely removed the desktop mode. Even when you toggle it in your developer settings, all you can get is screen mirroring. At present, the only viable options for a desktop mode are Samsung, and Motorola. Huawei's solution is still very good, but I haven't gotten my hands on a Huawei since the Mate 20. You can also look at an old LG, still a fantastic option for Screen Plus, especially if you're looking at the Velvet or the Wing or the V60 era of phones. And while they're still on Android 11, we might have some hope for Microsoft. The Duo and Duo 2 are trying something really interesting where the UI formats to look like the phone screens. It's absolutely not ready for prime time yet. Lots of UI and graphics errors, but it's an interesting idea on where we could go. Maybe a future evolution of Continuum on a portable Microsoft device. For the time being though, if you've got a duo, you're just better off screen mirroring and dealing with pillar boxing. So playing around with a bunch of options just to see where we stand. I personally fear that the move to Android 12L, Android 13, we're looking at including better support for tablet form factors. It's going to eat up all the interest in improving desktop modes on our 
our phones. If developers start taking Android 12L more seriously, we'll get better support for panels of apps or split screening, maybe just putting two apps side by side. But if we want floating windows desktop style, well, <laughs> you just gotta buy a whole other computer. I know it's a super nerdy topic, but you probably know people in your family or friend groups who've struggled to pick up a, a, a home computer or a laptop with all the shortages and distribution issues that we faced over the last two years. And I have to wonder, as techies, have we really been letting people know that maybe their phone could have helped? So I still think we have to keep an eye on these kinds of power user features. If we don't watch out for them, sadly, I think we're gonna start losing them. And hopefully we see more progress as we get more updates out. Android 12L, Android 13, should be pretty interesting to see. Like I said, just a quick catch up, see where we stand. I'm a big fan of desktop modes. I hope they keep evolving. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing, and subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you all on the next video.